Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to another Fever 16 Ultimate Team video and today I have my favorite non-rare attack on the game that I want to share with you because I did say like a couple of weeks back I wanted to get a few players into a team together to see if it was actually possible and there are four of my favorite non-rare players on the game and if you want to leave in the comment section ones that aren't actually in this video today for me to try out please do I love uh, testing out sort of overpowered players on the game because there are some but very few of them so if you do enjoy these videos, please do drop a like. And if you are needing ultimate team coins to buy some players, head over to FIFAultimateTeamCoins.com. Links we found just below in the description. They're safe, cheap, automated, and reliable. If you're needing game codes as well, you can head over to G2A and also use the code Fuji on that site. So yeah, non-rare attack. Let's take a look. So in this team today, guys, we have three of my favorite non-rare players on the game and in order. So in at number one, you know, who, who do you think it is? It's got to be Ben Yedda. Five-star week for four star skills if anyone think they can maybe comment in in the comment section a player that could be uh, on on his level or maybe even beat him let me know because he is one of a kind I doubt we will be able to find someone who's better than him he, he's so overpowered it's brilliant then we've got Zarate in at number two loving him impact to power he just feels nice and smooth on the ball he's got good finesse shots pretty quick as well and he's got four star skills and in at number three this was pretty close actually it's between uh, Gamero I can't even get there Gamero and Lanzini honestly I'm gonna have to go with Lanzini now I loved Gamero's inform card. His finesse shots were very good inside the box, but you can really feel the difference between that and the inform or this non-inform. So yeah, I much prefer the inform card, but whereas Lanzini, if I could get him in that cam position, maybe you guys can help me out a little bit. I'm wanting to build a team where I've got Lanzini cam and then those two up top with Ben Yedda and Zarate. Now that would be like the ultimate non-rare attack. So that's what I'm going to try and push for. Let me know if you uh, can build me teams, but just to go through it. 4 3 1 2 is the formation. We've got Moore in goal, who's not bad. Raphael, I thought he was going to be a little bit better than he was, like overpowered wise. He's alright, like he just he's pretty average. Laporte, Mathue, and Clichy, not a bad defense. Could be better. Not the best that I've tried, but yeah, it's all good. Obviously, Lanzini, Benega scored a banger that I can't wait to show you. Uh, Tolisso, I love the fact that he's a box-to-box -box player, so he's going to get the job done defensively and get you goals. Gamero isn't a bad cam, actually. Obviously, he's meant to be a striker, but he's got the best passing out. I think he's got the best passing anyway. 75. Oh, no. Ben Yedda. See, Ben Yedda's got the best passing and he's a striker. Ah, oh, he's so good. Ben Yedda and Zarate up top. So, yeah, guys, if you do enjoy uh, my type of videos where I show you, like, the best players that I have come across, then drop a like and I'll get some more out as soon as possible. But, yeah, let's go and have a look at the clips. Here we go. So, those people that say you need the best players to win games on FIFA 16. I'm actually kind of 50-50 with that. Obviously, in certain scenarios, if you had those high-quality finishers, yes, it would help you. But if you learn the basic fundamentals of the game, which is passing and just building up and getting yourselves into those positions, then players like Zarate, Ben Yedda, Gamero, Lanzini will be able to... Well, maybe not so, so much Lanzini, but definitely Zarate and Ben Yedda will be able to get you those goals because they have good finishing. And that's where I think a lot of people are aren't playing FIFA 16 because they aren't really prepared to learn a new game whereas if you do sit down and give it a couple of hours and just change up your play if you if you bring in what you were doing in FIFA 15 to FIFA 16 it's not going to work like most of like my techniques to actually win games like stopping the ball dead they've pretty much got rid of that there was one skill where you used to do a ball roll and then push it back and flick it to get extra bit of burst of acceleration it's all gone so yeah you need to come into FIFA 16 with an open mind and once you you do start learning the games then you can appreciate these cheap players and they'll be able to win you games so yeah guys make sure to go and try out the team if you wish to let me know if you like non-rare players and that and i'll try and build teams to help you guys out maybe do a few tutorials here and there but yeah thanks for watching guys drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed and i'll see you on the next one team out Woo!